Hey guys, and welcome to step 4 of how to solve a Rubik's Cube. By now, you should um, have solved the bottom two layers of the cube and the yellow side of the cube. Now, all you have to solve is um, this part of the cube, the top layer. And um, you need two algorithms to solve it, so um, I'll teach you them. And one algorithm is to solve the corners of the cube and another one is to solve the edge pieces which will finish off the cube okay and you need to do the corner algorithm first and um, I wrote it down right here so it's right counterclockwise front clockwise right counterclockwise back 180 right clockwise front counterclockwise right counterclockwise back 180 right clock I mean right 180 so um, if we perform that algorithm, it'll take us to something that um, has all the corners solved. It's just that the edge pieces are not solved. And there's also another way to position this. And um, you need to find on the cube, on the top layer, you have to find um, corners that have um, that are the same color. So. This doesn't have um, it because this is orange and this is blue. This doesn't have it because this is blue and this is green. This doesn't have it because this is green and this is orange. But this does have it because th both of these are red. And if you have two like this, you have to place it on the back face. If you don't have that, then you can choose any um, corner, anywhere to um, position it. But um, if you have something like this, then you have to place it on the back. And then let's do that algorithm. Right clockwise, front clockwise, right counterclockwise, back 180, right clockwise, front counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, back 180, right 180. And you s and if you ma you'll see that you might have a solved um, side, and also these corner pieces are solved. And if at first you did not have these same color sides and corners on any of them, then you have to repeat the algorithm twice. So if you didn't have any um, corner pieces that are the same. Um, if you do the algorithm, then you'll get two corner pieces that are the same. Place those on the back and do that algorithm one more time. Okay, now all we have to do is um, turn these edge pieces so that they are in the correct position. And there is an algorithm for this, and you might have a solved side, or maybe you might not. And if you do not have a solved side, then you have to do this algorithm more than if you have a solved side and um, there's also a way to position this and um, if you don't have a solved side then you can position it any way you want so that when you and then you'll do that algorithm and after you do the algorithm maybe one or two times you'll get a solved side okay once you get a solved side you're gonna place it on the right and then you're going to do this algorithm left 180 top counterclockwise back clockwise front clock counterclockwise left 180 back counterclockwise front clockwise top counterclockwise left 180 okay and you may have to write this down but it's once you do it a lot then it's going to be e easy to memorize and um, again if you don't have a solve side then you can place this however you want but if you do have a solved side, place it on the right. Okay? And do that algorithm. Left 180, top counterclockwise. And then when you do back clockwise, make, um, you might want to actually face it directly and do it, because sometimes you get confused. Um, back clockwise, and then front counterclockwise, and then left 180, and then back counterclockwise front clockwise top counterclockwise and left 
180. And now you see you have a completed cube. And you might need to do that algorithm one to four times um, if you have um, no edge pieces in the correct position or even if you have a solved side. Thanks for watching and please rate, subscribe, and comment.